The big news everybody's talking about, the latest on the road and the preparations for the Final Four. Yes, and a whole lot of fans from Connecticut will be heading down to Texas. In fact, a large banner reads NCAA Men's Final Four Houston 2023. It now hangs outside the NRG Stadium in Houston where UConn will face Miami Saturday night. There's also a banner up on that overpass right there. So what do you need to know if you are going down to Houston? Joining us now, Doug Miller. He has been a veteran newspaper and TV reporter at KHOU, and he really knows Houston knows it inside all. and out. Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, you bet. I'm happy to be here. I, I got to tell you something. Uh, you may notice I'm wearing a, a shirt from uh, with the University of Houston logo on it. We were expecting to see the UH logo in this Final Four. That's my <laughs> alma mater here, but I, I guess now I'm free to root for UConn, I suppose. <laughs> yes, that's definitely who you want to be rooting for yes, today. as they say, better <laughs> luck next year, right? Let's start with someone yeah. coming from Connecticut. If they've never been to Houston, where do they need to go? All right, well, you, you need to understand something, that this is a very big deal even here in Houston, even without Houston in the Final Four here. Uh, Houston's had its share of big sporting events from, you know, the World Series, the Astros, and so on. But there's a lot of hype around even this event. You know, th this is the equivalent almost to a Super Bowl here. So there are a lot of events downtown, in the downtown area. They've got a, a, a fan fest down there. There are going to be a lot of concerts, a lot of major performers down there, uh, Megan Thee Stallion, uh, 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 Lumos X is going to be there. Um, you know, there. There are all sorts of performers are going to be performing. Keith Urban is going to be there. A lot of concerts in the downtown area. One thing you need to understand if you're coming here is that the Fan Fest and various other events are going to be in the downtown area, which is about seven, eight miles north of the stadium where the games are going to be played. So you're going to have to understand you need to get between those two areas. There is a rail that connects those two, like a, a metro rail that connects those two. There's going to be a lot of activity in downtown Houston. It's usually hopping on a Saturday night, but now it is going to be very, very busy. So there's a lot to do here this weekend. It's interesting, Doug. I mean, you mentioned the Super Bowl. We've used that analogy up here. I mean, going into this weekend, I think that's how folks in Connecticut are really looking at this. I mean, this is a big, a big deal, a very exciting time. What, I'm curious, as someone down there, are there maybe three must-dos, maybe a restaurant or something in particular that the people should really check out if they come down? All right, well, I'll tell you one thing you really got to do if you come down to Texas. You got to have barbecue. I mean, this is yes. a gift, okay? It's like going to New Orleans and, you know, not having boudin or something. It is it is the specialty here. But the other thing you have to understand is that Houston is actually the most ethnically diverse city in the country, and it's a big darn city. So there are a lot of places to eat. Any sort of ethnic food you want to try, you can try it right here. That's one thing. Uh, another thing you want to do is definitely go downtown. That's where all the activity is going to be. There's not only going to be all of the stuff associated with the NCAA. Uh, this is also uh, a weekend when the Rockets are going to be playing. The Houston Rockets will be playing downtown uh, at, uh, at Toyota Center. It's also opening weekend for Major League Baseball, and the World Series champion Houston Astros are going to be playing in their opening weekend with the Chicago White Sox. So there's an awful lot to do here. I want to point out one other thing. A lot of people come to Houston and they say, let's go check out the Space Center. Let's go down to Space Center Houston, look at the Johnson Space Center. You need to understand that that's a good 45-minute drive south of downtown. So it's going to take five, six hours if you do that, driving down, touring it, coming back. That's a big commitment of time. I want people to know that if they do that, they need to give themselves pretty much a whole day. Oh, one other thing I need to mention, those Houston Astros games, they're day games on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, you so you can both. check that out in the daytime. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a lot coming yeah, going so, what on. What a weekend coming You've up. You've made me so excited about Houston. I'm just going to have to fly there tomorrow morning. Yeah, she's going to be there, I Doug. Which I am, yeah. Come on down. I'll be ready. To Come on down. I'll we'll have to and show you see. around when you get down here. Yes, that would be great. <laughs> So sounds like a plan. Happy to. <laughs> well, we appreciate you joining us this afternoon. Doug Miller with KHOU. Some great information. Thanks so much. And have a, have a blast this weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun. You bet. <laughs>